One of the biggest question marks of the 2019 Patriots season was rookie Damian Harris and why the running back pretty much never saw the field. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. So many people asked us last season, which when is the game that Damian Harris is going to finally get in the lineup as a running back, especially in a season where Sony Michelle was struggling a bit. But do you see in year two Harris breaking out and getting some playing time? Well, for Harris and for the Patriots, this is such a financial conundrum to me because they have this guy that they drafted in the third round in Harris last year who is on a rookie contract, who's very cheap, very affordable, and yet they're paying veterans like Rex Burkhead and Brandon Bolden a lot of money to be on the roster and for a team that's tied up against the salary cap. So one of the easiest ways and one of the old school Belichick ways, quite frankly, would be to save cap space by cutting Rex Burkhead and giving those snaps to the younger player and the cheaper player in Damian Harris. Ten years ago, this would have been a no-brainer and already would have been done. Now the Patriots take a little bit of a different approach of keeping some of these veteran players around. And that's really what ended up happening with Damian Harris last year was that it wasn't about talent. It wasn't about ability. It was just about the fact that he had veteran guys ahead of him on the depth chart. The Patriots trusted a little bit more in big spots to carry the football and I think that that's a big thing for Bill Belichick always is that trust that ball security the fumbles that sort of mindset of do I trust this guy not to fumble the football do I trust this guy to protect the football and maybe Damon Harris wasn't quite there as yet as well the other thing that I heard was that pass protection and blitz pickup was a concern with Damian Harris as a rookie just the ability to understand where he needs to be get to his spot and be able to hold up against a blitzing linebacker or a free rusher off the edge or whatever the case may be they just wanted to school him up a little bit more in that regard of the game as well because they do want to be able to use him a little bit in the passing game, which we'll get to here in a second. But as a runner, he's actually a lot like Sony Michelle, a compact runner, can run between the tackles, good contact balance to run through, would be tacklers, that type of thing. And he's got a great trust and sort of feel for his blocking where he doesn't dance. He doesn't try to do too much with the ball. He knows where his blocks are going to be and he sets them up nicely and sort of gets into space on his own in sort of a kind of technical sort of way. Not not really necessarily dancing out of contact or jump cutting out of contact, but more so just kind of flowing with the line of scrimmage and understanding where his blocks are going to be. And he finds his way to space somehow. At Alabama, he's not the fastest guy. He's not the most elusive guy. And all of a sudden on his tape, he was in daylight all the time. And you're like, how did he get here? And it's just his ability to kind of work around his blocks and work behind his blockers. And I think that that's sort of what you wanted to see last year when the offensive line was struggling at times, when Sony was struggling at times, just a guy that was going to be efficient, come in and get what is block, get up the field, not go dancing north and you know east and west, just be a north-south runner and hit the hole. And I think that Harris does have that capability. And the Patriots' top two running backs in Sony Michelle and James White from last year are pretty – different players do you see Harris making his way into the field more if he can develop into a a more pass catching back do you think that that's the uh, route for him to take if he wants to get significant playing time well I think that he has a little bit more I would say just feel natural ability as a pass catcher and experience certainly as a pass catcher coming into the NFL compared to Sony you know Sony had one year at Georgia really where he was used as as a featured pass catcher out of the backfield but didn't have a ton of career receptions at Georgia wasn't used a ton in the passing game whereas with Harris he was used a little bit more in Alabama's system as a pass catching back mainly as a screen back he's a very effective screen runner now we know how good James White and Rex Burkhead are in that role so it would again have to take one of those veterans getting out of the way to pave that way for Damian Harris but that was probably his best attribute as a pass catcher was his ability to find blocks and and really set up his blocks in open space as a screen ball carrier so those are the two areas I would look for him to sort of get on the field is the ability to run between the tackles and get north south quickly and find that open voids of space as a runner and then also as a pass catcher the ability to create kind of plays with his ball in his hands as a screen back mostly I think if you're looking for him to flex out of the formation and be James White and run wide receiver routes and create a huge impact in the passing game that's probably not going to be Damian Harris's game moving forward but I think that he can do a little bit more than Sony in that regard and he has adequate hands to just be that nice check down option for uh, well I was going to say Tom Brady but now we're on in the Jared Stidham era so 
Uh, that's where I would say he would go most likely, but I, I don't think he's going to be out there running slants and, and stuff like that outside or in the slot or being detached from the formation and all that kind of stuff. I think that's mostly just James White's territory and, uh, and Damon Harris will stick to sort of the check down screens, that kind of thing. Absolutely. And for more of our Patriots player profiles, check them out on our website at clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.